Yeah, Quattro Shop with Brasilio. Um, I just did a little bit of a video chat about deck plates, and I think it's really important that you know people check their deck plates for starters um, and the position. And I always say, kind of to your average person, always start in the middle. Now we've seen you ride some massive waves in our time, and most people at home. Is there something that you would do different to your deck plates, say in big waves? Um, for sure, I, I changed the position of my deck plate around, but I think this is something so personal that I don't feel like I can come here and give a number from the tail yeah, where the deck sure. plate works because depending how much someone weighs, you know, they step on the bar different depending on the sail that they ride, the sail might push more or less off the front of the board. So I, I think each person should really look for their own position and as you say, start from the middle and just really take the time and play around, you know, move it, go in, change it a little bit. But as a general rule, I think if you're feeling overpowered and a little bit more out of control, then you want to slide it forward. Very forward, yeah. And um, if, you, if you're feeling like the wind gets lighter, you want to get plenty more, or you have a bigger sail on a smaller board, then you might want to slide it back a little bit because the bigger the sail is, the usually makes the nose of the board sit a lot lower. Yeah. Because it's pulling from higher. Yeah, yeah. So you just gotta watch for that. I, I generally change my my mass foot position yeah. when right I change on. sails. Yeah. Okay. And exactly what you know, well, champion just said, whack it in the middle, and you can't really go wrong with that. I think that's the most important thing. Put it in the middle and then play around from there. How much would you move it? I move usually like a finger like that forward or so a finger like that back but I've done board. more you know usually I start and like that and if the waves would be bigger and I'm feeling like I could get a little bit more control from the board I'll go like that. So we're talking literally a finger's worth. Uh, and it's a huge right? difference it makes even a finger. So that much makes a huge difference. In my right? opinion it does yeah. especially like if you're keeping the same sail you're gonna feel it even more because if you change sail and you change it, you don't know if the what you're feeling is coming from the sail size or from it. So generally try to change it when we have the same sail yeah. until you find a spot and then maybe mark it on the sail that you use the most a little bit and then if you have a bigger sail, maybe go tiny bit back, smaller sail, tiny bit forward. That's what I would do. So there we go, uh, talking about markings, I, I encourage people to, when they come to your side, is to just mark it on their board or their sail. Do you often do this? I do it. I do yeah, my yeah, teams and my best foot. I have also some numbers that I liked on my best boards, but I would recommend each person to do it on their own because, as I said, the weight, the sails and everything. So just mark after a couple sessions and, and take your time sometimes like doing it on a, on a rush on one session you can get the wrong impression i had so many times when i try to make up my mind about a board and i thought something in the beginning and you get to sell the board for a month and then things start getting a little bit more clear so just take your time start in the middle but don't be lazy to move it around you know come in go back and forth play around and get in tune with your equipment yeah. huh? yeah. Cool, well, good luck for the uh, PWA this year, mate. I hope you uh, become world champion again. I think it's always, always the mission. And uh, thanks a lot, see you in Europe. Cheers. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one.